While many athletes perform like machines, students at Nequa Valley are making machines and competing at the highest level. We turn to Kevin Jackman for a look at the Nequa Valley Wired Cats, presented by Edward Medical Group. Um, robotics has probably been one of my favorite uh, extracurricular activities at Nequa. Um, it's really cool because we're doing something that a lot of students don't get the opportunity to take part in. Rohan Sanjay is a senior at Nequa Valley and he wasn't kidding. The robotics club at the school is exclusive. Accepting 42 students out of over 140 applicants, the club is thriving in its seventh year. So for a lot of kids, it's they have an interest in a STEM career, such as engineering or other technologies, coding, things like that. And they see this club as a good stepping stone and is a great uh, builder for their college resumes when they apply. And also it's a lot of fun. Pete Ross is the club's coach and faculty advisor. He took over from the club's founder, Matt Ragusa, this past year. He is steering the Wirecats toward state and national competitions while keeping an eye on the big picture. Ideally what the process is is that they learn to follow what engineers uh, do uh, in actual projects. And, and that's to start with the design. Uh, the true path that they should be following is design first and then build and test and those kinds of things uh, over the course of several months. Andy Song, like Sanjay, is in his second year in the program. His team has already qualified for state and nationals. Yeah, I've been to, we've been to state once. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty intense. I'm not going to lie, we got beaten pretty badly, but we plan to make an even greater comeback this year. We've already qualified for nationals this year, so I think that's definitely a step up. <laughs> I think we're ready to bring it. <laughs> the process from day one to this point is that of trial and error. It's basically just a lot of iteration. It's very realistic. Like, there's pretty much no other way to do it other than you know constant testing, constant iteration, like figuring out like what is a design flaw and like what is like a flaw of building quality. Right? There's a lot of different factors to take into account. The journey starts with a reveal of the following year's game by Vex, both the supplier of robotics parts and the governing body of competitions. Quickly after the reveal, students get to work designing their robots months before even touching a piece of metal. Robotics, especially at Nick, was really cool because it's pretty student run. So we have a lot of freedom to make our own designs and kind of pursue the robot that we feel like will do the best at competitions. You actually have to do things practically. It's no longer about theory. You take things from the physics classroom, suddenly they become real. Like I think that is like probably the greatest thing about robotics, and pretty much nothing else can replace that experience. I love it. The objective in this year's game. Shooting targets, flipping caps, and climbing onto platforms. And for the Nequa Valley Wired Cats, taking home some hardware. More than they already have. Reporting for NSW, I'm Kevin Jackman.